All right. We are back yet with another Corpse Party stream. Let's get this started. This time with sound, hopefully. Let me see. Actually, let me make sure. I want to double check. Because last time I streamed this, even though OBS was showing me that there was sound output going out, there was none. So when, when I'm going to have to edit this in the future, it's pain in the ass. It's pain in the ass, OBS. You're pain in the ass sometimes. All right. So, let's go on back. Welcome back to more Quartz Party Blood Drive. Uh, it's been a bit since we played it since like last week um and right now we're kind of going through vampire the masquerade again i'm trying to remember what's the last thing that happened uh i think i think we switched over to different character ayumi i think we switched over to ayumi and we're in the we're in the um whatchamacallit what's it called the infirmary. I just want to lower the sound on my desktop. Of course, party is a loud game for me. It's always loud. So, yeah, fucking what's her name? <laughs> so many different names in this goddamn game. So, fuck. <laughs> Naomi. Naomi. Or Nizomi, or whatever the fuck her name is. I can't remember. Jesus. I can't remember everything about everything. You know? She, uh, her mom tried to kill her for some reason. Well, we assume she tried to kill her. She was sharpening a knife for some reason. Don't know why. I assume it was to kill her. Right? Who knows? Maybe her mom has a little bit of the darkening inside of her, or she's just, or she just couldn't take it no more. Right? But even so, come on. Come on, mom. What you thinking? Right? Then we have our new character. I'm trying to remember her name off the off the top of my head. Ah, and I really can't. <laughs> I can't remember their names. Um, she went in because she's like, I'm gonna go heavily host. We're gonna find some we're gonna find some knickknacks, some spiritual items. Check if there's any survivors for us to take back my dog instantly just got up and started digging in my fucking bed that's cool man nice to know that you waited for me to start recording to do that <laughs> um so there's that and right now as for as for what's her face main building to infirmary i think this is where we left off it should be where we left off right Hallway, second wing. Pretty sure we left off. Well, we have the timestamps right there. So what is that? Five hours. Five twenty. Five twenty. Five twenty and five oh one. Okay. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> We're gonna go with that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is definitely where we left off. Okay. Yeah, um, we, uh, had a run-in with another ghost. I'm trying to remember if it was a bad spirit or not. We had a run-in, right? Uh, apparently, apparently we found the, um, the girl we were looking for with the Book of Shadows, and there was a big axe man with him, right? But we don't know what happened. We kind of blacked out. They didn't kill us. We're still alive. And, um, you know, right now we're running around looking for the guy that she went in with. What's his name? Mitsuo? Something like that? Mitsuto? Something like that? I don't remember. But basically he called us, said, hey man, don't die. And we're like, that's cool. Nice advice, dog. And he's like, all right. Cool. Stay alive. How do I do that? Just do it. All right, cool. So... Let me just see if I can remember how to play this game. It's been a week, but since then I've been playing other games for the channel. I've been editing things, and then 
I had just been playing some Final Fantasy XIV, getting back into that. Uh, controls. I remember that we can assign a controller to this. I did not have time to do that tonight, so sadly, that won't be happening. QTE options. Oh yeah, that's that's how we choose our options. One, two, three. Cool. Uh, skip dialogue, left shift. F flashlight, interact E, space bars to run. And then we're using WASDA. Menu next Z. Did I just say Z? My bad. Menu next X. Menu confirm. What the fuck does that mean? Previous. Previous, you just press escape. You don't need to press Z for previous. You just press escape. Fuck you. I do what I want. Inventory, what do we have here? I remember I kicked up the brightness because... Because, um... On my screen, I had no problem seeing in the dark <laughs> of the game. Like, I didn't need the flashlight. But then when I looked at the, uh, the recording, it was like... It was like pretty dark, and I was like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> Start for you guys. So we got some matches. We found... I think we need a stronger flame, if I remember correctly. We have matches, but we need a stronger flame to come and burn down the hair that is blocking this room up here. Now, let's check in here. I'm not sure if we went in here yet. Boys, laboratory. Laboratory. Oh, what is happening in there? Oh no, <laughs> right off the bat. We're supposed to be avoiding the bad things because the darkening might happen, but you know what? We can't, listen, this is too good to, to pass up. A name tag rests beside the corpse. Hinata, high class, two five. Yosuke Okawa. Okawa. Okawa? Okawa. Hanged and stabbed. Unclear which offense <laughs> resulted in death. Just gonna close that one back up. Probably got a little bit of that darkening in us right now. You know, we all know fucking Ayumi here is uh, very susceptible to the darkening. Going off of what happened to us in the first game. That ending we got. <laughs> she said, oh, this piece of paper? You mean this one right here? <laughs> Just crumble it to the ground? She's like, whatever, bitch. <laughs> you slut. I forgot what she said. I forgot what she said to fucking uh, Naomi. But she, ba she basically called her a slut. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Hold up. Hey, are you okay over there? Because you were fine until I started streaming. And now you're just... Now you just won't sit down. Zero. Are you okay? Go lay down. <laughs> the moment I got up, my dog's just like, time to start fucking with everything. All right. So we need to be careful what we interact with. We also need to be careful with, well, I need to be careful with where I walk because these trip wires are fucking really hard to see. Um, I'm trying my best to keep my eye out, you know? And I'm not sure if using the flashlight will help me that much by, to see them. Probably will. This is where we got this is where we came from. Okay. Oh, well that's a pretty clear tripwire. Now what do I do? I interact with it? I press E on it. There's a tripwire stretch across the floor. Snap that shit. Safely removed. Gotta be careful. Gotta constantly look around, right? Make sure that we don't start fucking ourselves up because those trip wires hurt damn it and some of them are like hidden like I can't even tell if there's one right here there might be one right here nope some of them are like really really fucking hard to see
The door is the door is covered. God. <coughs> it's one of those nights. I'm gonna have a hard time reading. The door to the covered walkway between the two school buildings is locked. Alright, so that's the walk. Okay, so that leads like to the little outside part. Now, some of these goop parts have tentacles that will come up and grab you. Also gotta be careful as to where we go. Ow! Fucking... How much damage does it do again? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. You know what? Let's just use the flashlight. I'm not sure if using that flashlight would have helped me seen it earlier, but it might have. It might have not. All I know is that... Really difficult to see. I also don't want to run everywhere because your character kind of tires out pretty quickly, if I remember correctly. Hmm. Alright, some glass right there. Thread the needle. And here's the piss bucket. We just basically did a fucking full circle. Does that mean that Mayu's ghost is gonna be up here? Does that mean we're gonna have to run away again? Oh, what's this? Interact. There's something on the desk. Batteries, baby. Was this doorway open before? Okay, just a dead end. Nothing there. Who knows, might be secret. Watch out for the glass on the ground. It's kind of hidden there, pretty good. I need to test something, actually. Can we just... Okay, cool. I wanted to know if it's okay to just walk on it instead of run across it. And now I definitely have some... Some pretty hefty damage on me. That's fine. Oh, fuck! Never mind! Get me the fuck out of here! Alright, first things first. First things first. Let's... Let's touch myself up real quick. Because I did not expect that. At all. And I instantly ran in there. So can they go through doors? I would assume they can. Doesn't seem like they can go through doors. So... Oh, talisman. Well, I want to. I kind of want to hold on to it, to be honest. Oh, shit. Well, used it by accident. Because I'm pressing the wrong key, that's why. I'm not pressing the E key. I'm not used to keyboard and mouse. This is why I need to hook up a controller. Well, that was pretty much a waste. <laughs> that was pretty much a waste, but hey. I wonder if we had the talisman and Mayu's ghost attacks us, would that kill her? Would she die from that? Oh. That's not good. I think I should leave the room. Teacher. What the hell? And what am I supposed to do here? Yep. I'm dead. Mm-hmm.
This isn't good. Flashlight. <laughs> too bad, too bad. I just walked into a death room. Where's that asshole when he's supposed to protect me, you know? Sorry. Sachiko. Huh? What was that? Sachiko protected me. Okay, then what's this? Oh, that's nothing? That's just like a, a, a desk or something? What is that? Looks important. Hmm. So Sachiko just protected us. That's interesting. And how bad did that fucking ghost fuck me up? Not too bad, I guess. Bad enough, though. Door stuck. It will not open. So this room... I just came in this room to get fucked up. That's basically what happened. Alright. Some blood drippage. Now, this is where I was at earlier, right? This leads to the infirmary, if I remember correctly. And there's our save point. Uh, I won't save right now, because if I, if I do die, if I do die here... If I do die here, then I'd rather just reload with, um with as much health as possible, learn from those mistakes. It doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like a, a big, like, story beat happened yet. Alright, that's just a wall. Ah, fucking hell. <laughs> just, I'm just like, walk straight into it, you know? Like a fucking idiot, like the moron that I am. just matches the floor so well that I that I had to walk into it or at least the science lab all right hold up let me head back upstairs real quick because I think I walked past the door that led to the infirmary all right no okay this is just the area itself so the infirmary door has to be, like, near the science lab. Let's not walk straight into the spikes anymore. <laughs> Let's try our best to avoid that. Okay, so that's the science lab. Is this the infirmary? This is the infirmary. Okay. So, can I take this with me? Old fashioned heater, no oil left in it. Alright. Make sure not to check any of the skeletons and stuff. And there's no way to check, like, my darkening. Maybe, maybe it's the character portrait itself, right? Maybe over time that will become more darker, more bleak. Is bleak the right descriptor for that? I think it is. Let's head on down here. 
I'm just looking at this right here. I'm, I'm, is this just that? Okay, that's just a piece of the floor. <laughs> I didn't know if that was like an item I can pick up or something. There's a lot of fucky shit going on around this school. I'll tell you that much. Oh, let's take this out real quick so I can see where I'm going. Make sure I don't run into any trip wires. I was here before, right? I came here before, yeah. I'm, I'm just going in a fucking circle. Oh, there's just a noose hanging around. And there's a fucked up little space right there, a little hole in the wall. Let's just ignore the noose. Alright. What's going on over here? Come on, go through it. You know you want to. You know you can't resist doing something stupid. Hmm. Really? I can't interact with that. I imagine that I would be able to, since, you know, the, uh... You were able to crawl under the bookshelf earlier with the other character. I'm trying to remember what her name is. Her name is Aiko? I think? Hmm. Interact with door. Hello? That's a door. That is a doorway. Fix the wall like a model. What the hell? Why can't I interact with it? You gotta stand you gotta stand like a good feet away from it. <laughs> a good foot away from it, you know? Maybe that was maybe that's why I couldn't interact with the hole in the wall. Let me try that. Try standing at a distance. Pressing the button. Alright, I guess I just can't interact with it. I don't know, it would seem like I would be able to crawl down under there. Huh. Or like stick my flashlight in there, see like an eyeball staring back at me. I guess there's nothing in there. There's nothing in the room with the uh, with Sachiko, was there? This is where I picked up the talisman. I'm guessing this is where you would be able to hide. Something's not quite right about this cabinet. What the fuck you mean? Something's not quite right about that cabinet. Okay. I guess it's a spooky cabinet. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to tell you, man. It's moments like these that make this game a little difficult for me. Not gonna lie, mainly because it 
it actively encourages you not to check things. Because you don't want that darkening going up. Can I really not pick this up? Whatever the hell this is? I don't know, that looked like that would be something I would want to interact with. But I guess not. Surprised that there's actually nothing in this room for me. And I couldn't use the matches, because I tried that. I believe I tried that last last time I played this. And she commented that um the flames were too weak. Nothing of note inside the cabinet. I guess I'll just go around checking cabinets. Might be something in the infirmary. I'll try that again. Maybe we can find some oil. One of the cabinets over here. I'm gonna check this cabinet. I trust this one more than a double cabinet. Looks like there's all manners of med medicine inside the cabinet, but door's sealed shut. Never meant to be open. Okay. Never meant to be opened. Bottles inside the cabinet are coated in a thick layer of dust. Glass is caked with dust as well. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take this. And just... You know, do that. I feel like I've been tainted. And I can't take that. It also has no oil in it whatsoever. Hmm. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Well, I mean, of course there's gotta be something I'm missing, but, you know. I'm gonna have to do another full sweep of this goddamn area. This door's locked. Might have, might have been a passageway over here that I just didn't go. I think I can go up, right? I can also go down, I believe. I don't think I went down. Did I go down? I don't think I went down. No, I didn't. Okay, I've never been in here before. Just be careful on this side. Ah, fuck! I can't even see where the hell I'm going. The fuck did I even step on? Something on the floor. Band-Aid. Thanks. Was it a fucking tripwire? What was it? Must have been a tripwire to do that much fucking damage. God damn it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not even sure what... I did not mean to press any of that. Use that fucking bandage. God damn it. Matches. Box of ordinary everyday matches. That helped me with nothing. Fucking tripwire. Just sitting there. No wonder why they put that bandage there. They were like, hey, these dumb, stupid idiots are just gonna fucking walk right in front of the tripwire. Now, be careful around this corner. Spike over there. Was that a bucket? Nope, that's a skeleton. That's a skeleton. There's a cabinet over here to hide myself. If I were to be chased. You know, just saying. going on in this room flash the light look out for any chip wires oh I'm definitely gonna get chased aren't I there's too many corners in here 
interact with the damn thing. Come on. Band-Aid, I wonder why. Talisman, I wonder why. Tell him to get the fuck out of here. I don't trust this room. Where you at, ghost? I know you're gonna try and do some fuck shit. Oh shit, Mayu's here. Or it might be more Shigi, right? As I walk down the hallway, I can hear a familiar voice echoing from around the corner. Oh, there he is. There he is, good old the darkening boy himself. Turning in the direction of the voice, I confirm what my ears were telling me. It was more Shigi. Mayu? His eyes were hollow and his face was frozen in a soul-crushing frown. As he walked, he was holding his cell phone lazily in one hand. His tone of voice was decidedly abnormal. He clearly wasn't in his right mind. More Shigi. He paused mid Mayu and remained dead silent for a moment. His facial expression changed only slightly, adding the tiniest bit of confusion to all to his all-consuming sadness. Class rep. He genuinely seemed stunned to see me. His mouth was agape. Do you know where Mayu is? I looked deeply into his eyes, trying to find some trace of his former intensity. Wait, what? Of his former intensity? Does that make sense? But the flame had gone out. My vision rapidly began to gaze over as tears swelled in my own eyes. Mori. Mayu. I take full responsibility. Huh. You're not gonna attack me? Really? The phone he held in his hand had a cracked screen, upon which nothing at all was displayed. Just white. I couldn't stop crying. Morishigi, you really are dead. He continued to walk onward at... <coughs> God, my throat is killing me. He continued to walk onward on his never-ending mission to find Mayu, swaying about in an unstable fashion as he sauntered down the corridor. I will save you. You and Suzumoto alike. What about Miss Yui? What about the teacher? What about the best character? <laughs> At least in Book of Shadows, she had the best story. I have to. I have to find the Book of Shadows. Huh. He didn't chase me. But Mayu did. Maybe Mayu had a grudge against me. Maybe she was like, you brought me back to life, you bitch. With no face. Hmm. Okay. So this door is useless, because the item's on the other side of the room. Which is up here. Up oh, there's that tripwire. You know what? Before before I go grabbing items and being attacked by all all types of monsters, make sure I just snap that bad boy. So I don't make like you know. I don't make like uh what's her name, fucking uh <laughs> Naomi's friend. Just running down the steps and get decapitated. I'm so hungry. Is that food? Is that food? It's a strawberry milk flavored steam bun. Those are my favorite. Oh, fuck no, dude. <laughs> it's my favorite. What's the expiration date? Tomorrow? Should I eat it? Oh, maybe, maybe Misato left it behind for me. Ah, 
Uh uh, no. I'm not eating nothing in this place. Are you insane? It's too conspicuous. Could be some kind of ruse. I'll just leave it where it is. Ain't no eating in this place. Door classroom 5A is locked. What about this door? Okay, so 5A might be important. Uh-oh. Okay. I trust you. Damn it. Don't have key. My body in the science lab has the key. Find him and get it back. Science lab. The key. Alright. Old-fashioned heater. Uh... I don't want to open that closet. <laughs> Bad things were in that closet before <laughs> in the first game. So, uh, you know. Ah, fuck it. I'm going to have to open it anyways. Naho and... Oh, yeah, their bodies are still inside. It's probably best not to disturb them. Okay, yep. Yeah. Naho and Kisuke, they're still in there. At least she remembered. You know, at least she was like, you know what? Let it be. <laughs> I'm surprised that Morishigi's ghost didn't chase us. I was expecting him to be like, must take picture of dead body. That boy, that boy really went crazy super quick in the game, didn't he? Like, <laughs> like you would expect him to be a, you know, be a little bit more resilient, but nope. He was ready to just start killing things. What the fuck? What is this room? I'm trying to map out the place in my head. I am. So I might just be running in circles. See, so, okay, no, this is the room that I don't trust. <laughs> I've remembered it now. Okay, now I'm trying to think. Did I go all the way to the ow fucking glass on the goddamn floor that shit's a little it is kind of difficult to see man oh what is this it's locked it better be fucking locked door's boarded up oh this is just a dead this isn't okay so, do you think maybe the science lab has magically unlocked itself? Man, this flashlight battery lasts a fucking long time. It lasts like a stupid long time. Like, way longer than I thought it would. There's still a cabinet over there. I'm gonna be chased by something. I'm just trying to remember which directions did I go. I went... I went this way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went this way. This leads back upstairs. This takes me full circle, right? Yeah, I think this one takes me full circle. Not sure if it leads to the science lab. No, it doesn't lead to the science lab. Hmm. Okay. Oh, phone battery might be dying. See, now, now I'm gonna save.
Just gotta make my way to the science lab. Check if that door's unlocked. I hope it is. Should be. And if it's not, then I gotta find a key to it. I think it's this way, right? This is the science lab? It's still locked. Alright. Um, shit. Science lab has a key to, to somewhere. I just need to find a way to get into the science lab. Which is probably through the door with the hair on it. Which then again, I need some sort of strong flame. And it's not my matches because my matches are too weak. I should have tucked in that strawberry milk when I had the chance. <laughs> hmm. I really hope I don't spend this whole entire stream just walking around in circles. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't think I was that close to it. I'm out here hurting myself just by walking. Back over here, this is boarded up as well. And I really don't want to check any of the skeletons because that might increase my darkening. tried all these rooms, right? That one had the strawberry... Strawberry milk shit going on in here. <laughs> what was it? A strawberry... A strawberry milk bun or something? This one's locked. That's 5A, so... There's that. This is the same room, but this door is useless because the item's up there. Unless there's like an item in the corner over here somewhere. Oh, tripwire. Hmm. Alright, no items in the corner over here. I don't think he would leave behind food for us. If he left something behind for us, it would be gum. Because that's the only thing he's ever given us. Alright, my phone battery is now dead. <laughs> I don't know how that works, because she's using a smart a smartphone as a flashlight. Right? <laughs> I also have a talisman on me, so I get a free getaway. You know, a free uh, get out of jail. A free get out of jail free card. Mm -hmm, yep. Yep. Maybe if I check... Well, I don't think I checked this cabinet. Estonia would have you store keys from classrooms. Okay, cool. Anything on the TV? He refuses to turn on. It's likely no power running. So you said... Bodies in the science lab has a key. Find it and get it back. Okay. The door to the science lab is locked. I need fire. You know, let me make my way back up there again. I'll try the matches again. I just remember, you know, it's been a week, but I just remember Ayumi just going like, going like, hey, fucking fire's too weak. It's not going to be able to burn through shit. That is a fresh dead body. Okay. So that leads down to the front entrance. This. This is. This would lead me back to the. 
um, whatchamacallit, the pharmacy. Is this door still locked? Yep, it's still locked. Okay. Did I just call it the pharmacy? You know what I mean? Fucking the nurse's room or whatever. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this. This corner's like a little bit too dark for my liking. <laughs> And it's like, that That looks like that would be an item on the ground right here, you know? But it's not. It's just trickery. And there's nothing inside the fucking... Nothing in here that'll help me, the infirmary. Yeah. Nothing in the infirmary that's gonna help me. I check all the cabinets in here. My dumbass just didn't even, like, I stopped paying attention. <laughs> yeah, there's only one doorway here, and the other doorway is destroyed, right? Because that would be the doorway right here. I assume this would be the doorway. Or is that it right there? Is this the doorway? Can't interact with it, it seems. Nope. Alright. And then there's that room with, like, the hole in it. Hmm. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I am... I am officially stuck. At this point, I'm starting to check every room that I can. I'm gonna check these cabinets. Children books on the shelf. I check this cabinet. She's all like, this one's pretty weird. I don't know why she says it, but she does. Something not quite right with it. Mm -mm. It's a bad cabinet. I don't trust it. This just leads to the first rooms we were in. Nothing on the clock. Pigeon stopped at an angle. Oh. Was that there before? Did I not come in here before? Oh, there's writing on there. Uh huh. Ah, oh, fucking son of a bitch. Got some batteries. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. What the fuck? That's it. New house rule. New house rule. Keeping the fucking flashlight on at all times. Because this is getting ridiculous. Something on the floor. Large quantities of long black hair stuffed in the cabinet. I had to stop for a moment because the music just stopped, like completely, after I checked that cabinet. And I was like, what the fuck? What's going on? Fixing it to the wall. There's glass over here. See if there's anything else in this room that I should know about. 
fucking trip wires. God damn it. There's the piss bucket. Good old piss bucket. How we love you. This room with the noose. Is there really nothing in here for me to check? Like, at all? Is it because I have my, my light out? Dude, that's so weird. That's so weird that I can't, that I can't, like, look into that. I am pressing the E button. <laughs> what if I hold space? Nope. Alright, cool. Well, let's keep on moving. Checking every nook and cranny that I possibly can. Alright. And the only place that we did not check yet is up here. This led upstairs to like a dead end, right? Maybe it's not a dead end. Maybe there's a passageway that I just didn't see. Yep, right there. I don't like I don't like how this is. Cause at first at first glance I just go, you know. I just kinda walk past it. Oh look at that. Eh, flashlight helps. But that one's pretty obvious. Even without the flashlight. Hmm. Make sure you look in front of you. Trip wires everywhere. There's a ghost over there. Is it a good ghost? A bad ghost? Who knows? Can I can I talk to the ghost? Hmm. Oh, I gotta, okay. <laughs> I was confused. Now, you can't really tell. I'm not sure if they're still doing the thing that, like, all the blue spirits are good ones. You met him, didn't you? Fine, I'll let you pass. You can have the key. All right. Of course, seems to be holding on to something. Lab key. Oh, student teacher. Let out after losing intense fight. Came to eliminate person who knew too much. Student teacher was cover ID. Oh, what? Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> okay, so am I gonna have to make a mad dash to the fucking... Science lab now? Because science lab is just this way, right? It's just downstairs. Science lab is this way, yes. Or maybe it's on the other side. I don't clearly remember. I obviously don't remember what the hell I'm doing. Uh, no, I think it's on the other side of this room. Yep. It's on the other side of this room. Either that or it's downstairs. And I just have a really stupid fucking memory. At least when it comes to this game. Gotta 
head down this hallway. Yeah, okay, here's the science room. Over here. Hmm. You know what? I'll keep it out. I'll keep it out just in case, you know? Tripwires. Tripwires everywhere. Is this... Okay, that's blocking my path. Now you said the key was on his body. Just want to check the whole entire room. No, don't check any bodies that we don't need to check. Oh, there's two bodies. I feel like my I feel like my voice is like a little raspy today. Is it you? Do you have it? Name tag besides corpse. Suffer from mental breakdown. Ooh. That's not fun. <laughs> so I guess it's you who have it. Succumb to fatigue after being trapped in Nirvana and came to investigate mysterious mysterious. Mysterious, uh, Mysterious Guild? Guide? Guild. Teacher was cover ID. Huh. Isn't there supposed to be a key in here? Or something in here. Maybe I grab, like, one of the... One of the burners or something? One of the Bunsen burners? Use that to burn shit now? this side of the room. Hmm. There's nothing of note in the cabinet. Oh, here we go. Alcohol lamp. Meanwhile, <laughs> anime girls just going to town. You're in my way. I'll break your fucking neck. Okay. Please stop! You're killing him! Huh? Hmm. Take this piece of shit with you if you're running. <laughs> if you're gonna run, scumbag. Excuse me, miss? What do you want? Thank you for saving me. That man's been a nuisance for some time now. You've been following me to school, so, uh, I couldn't care less. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't care less. I'll kill you, too. This is a purification ritual. I thought it might help to kill two or three people before heading to Nirvana. No, stop. You certainly aren't very smart. How about I put you to sleep in place of the nasty man you just led away? Let away? <laughs> Let get away? What a disgusting sound. Moe. I don't like this character. <laughs> I just don't. Let's get all happy happy with my Moe Moe power. This is boring. If I'm gonna kill someone, I want it to at least be worthwhile. What? <laughs> You're Are you gonna tell me those two had like a fucking anime showdown? Right up there on top of that building. Now that was an enjoyable fight. Naho Sanoki. Dear, dear Naho. I wanted to desperately. I wanted so desperately to take your life. Alright. Magari flipped open her phone, which displayed as its wallpaper a photo of Naho. 
but Naho's face had become a bit darker, a bit less distant than the last time she'd seen it. You gotta be kidding me, her existence is starting to fade away now? Damn it! It really pisses me off. Killing people just hasn't been the same since she died. This is shit. I can't waste any more time. I need to head over there. Ayumi Shinozaki's gotta be pretty ripe by now. Let's see. What was that chant again? Ah, that's right. Nirvana. I summon the... <laughs> came came here to cop a feel, huh, Yoshiki? What the hell are you doing? What'd you say about Shinozaki, you bitch? <laughs> you bitch? Let go of me. I'll fucking kill you. Where do you think you're touching? Those are my... Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. I don't give a shit. I'll apologize after we get to Heavenly Hose. Let me just make the jump already. God damn it. Oh. So nice to know that that's going on while I'm fucking around over here looking for fucking Bunsen burners and shit. Hmm. So, I was thinking, I'm not sure if I, I can't remember if I said this in like the other uh, stream or not, but I, I remember after that stream, I was just kind of thinking a bit, and I was like, huh, first of all, Corpse Party, with all, with all this anime shit going on, you know, anime characters and their battle stances and giant scythes and shit, you know, and Moe Moe power, you know, and the other dude with his psychic powers or whatever, with all that crazy shit going on, it's like, is this series gonna take like a real drastic turn? And if so, are they trying to build up Yoshiki as the character that's like, that's kind of like, I guess the Ichigo of the group to make, you know, to make it more understandable? Where it's like, oh, here's the character that didn't know about this shit before, and he's like, why am I so weak? And then, in the sequels or whatever, he then too will have, like, stupid superhuman strength or some crap like that. I don't know. I just, I just hope that they don't do that, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm gonna put in an empty slot. I just kind of hope they don't do that. Because... I kind of like the dynamic of, of, you know, here's these fucking dumbass fucking high school students that are just like, hey, let's do this ritual. Oops, we fucked up the ritual's wheel, uh, real. Now, <laughs> now it's time for these dumbasses to just deal with the problem. Like, I have no problem with, um, with like uh, Ayumi being like related to you know the ghost and shit and having some family bloodline tied to it that's fine because the characters have like you know limitations and stuff like that but it's when you're like here comes the fucking Dragon Ball battles right I really hope that this series doesn't become that <laughs> like just out of nowhere because it's kind of it's kind of heavy hitting right now anyways Door slays with human hair and a human hand? Human hair holding it in place. Gotta use that good old alcohol lamp. Use the match. Set myself on fire. The hair burned away cleanly, freeing the door. Huh? Someone's coming. I gotta hide. Someone's coming. Time to get killed. I peeked out from the entrance as stealthily as I could. Fortunately, there was no sign of anyone to be seen. I removed the plastic bottle from my bag and chugged its contents. I forgot that she packed a bag with her. I thought she would have lost that by now. Phew, that's a lot better. So far, I've run into Suzumoto and Morishigi. Was wondering around. Morishigi was wondering around too. That's a good start. I need to hurry up and bring them all back to life. What about the teacher? What about Miss Yui? 
I like Miss Yui. She's cool. There's no way any water is going to come out of these pipes, huh? Didn't think so. You know, since there don't seem to be any spirits around right now, maybe I should go. I don't know, man. I don't trust none of these bathrooms. Just, I think it's safer just to do what you gotta do right, right where you're standing. You know, look left, look right. Hope no one sees you. I wouldn't. I would not use the bathroom in this haunted ass place. That's for sure. This happened at Seven M of Makane and Shinazaki's apartment too. It's like I'm drawn to creepy bathrooms. I don't like that sound. Oh, it's the I was so confused. I was like, what the fuck is that noise? It's the water. What's happening? Oh, that's not good. There was no longer there. It was literally just an image painted onto the wall now. Come on. Please, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Jesus, why? Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. Wait, what? The Lord has spoken. No soul may reside in, in trees that have died. Someone help me. You done fucked up. You're gonna drown in blood now. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Take mercy on this impure soul. Strike down this person with one firm swing of the divine blade, O oh Lord. Help me, Kishinuba! The whole room filling with water. Water? That's what you call water? Okay. I'm not gonna make it. No, anyone, please. Ayumi? Swim towards me. Sounds like a plan. Oh, there's something in my way. This way. What way? This way. The door? Over here, jackass. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, there's something in my way. I, I'm here? Am I here? Am I in the right spot? I made it out. I did it. Yuki? Thanks for saving me there, buddy. I was hoping I seed you. How have you been? Remember that time when, like, you touched me and you went, Hey, now you're gonna see, now you're gonna feel what I felt, and then I got stabbed in the eye, like, fucking 50 times? And it sucked? I get that's kind of a weird question to ask someone who's dead, huh? That book surely does have it. A large tome was being cradled against Yuki's side. Yuki, um... I came back here because I need that book you have. Oh, this book? You want this book? Could I take a look at it? I reached out slowly and gently, hoping she'd hand me the Book of Shadows. Instead, she quickly hid her hands behind her back, grimoire and all. Oh, is that important to you too, huh? I find it weird that she's not speaking. Usually she was the more talkative of the spirits and the more cooperative of them. But she also did say that from time to time, when when the Heavenly Host would go berserk, they would go berserk as well. Huh. Oh! Okay. Well, nice to know that you threw the book out the window. I kind of really needed that, but okay. I thought for a moment that I caught a slight smirk on Yuki's face. 
Then, with a crash, the heavenly, the heavenly, <laughs> the heavily covered book broke through the window behind her back and fell outside. I instinctively ran over to the window, but obviously couldn't have caught it in time. I looked down, though, and saw the school's courtyard directly below. The book was in there somewhere, but I couldn't digest it from. Couldn't digest it. The hell is wrong with me tonight? I couldn't distinguish it from anything else through the veil of darkness. Yuki, why would you do that? Uh, yeah, that's funny to you, okay. Huh? Yuki, have you changed? She said, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, no. Are you chasing me now? Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Is Yuki gonna start chasing me? I really hope not. Alright. Who's bored? There we go. I guess I'm heading towards the, um... I'm heading towards the, uh... The entrance? Also, make sure to take out the flashlight. Looking around for these goddamn trip wires. Uh, which way leads over here, right? I think it's over here that leads to it. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. At least let's save the game first before I start getting chased and killed and murdered. Good old piss bucket. We love the piss bucket. Careful where you step. Oh, my battery's going out already? Okay, this is what led to, uh, this leads to the front, right? Or am I going towards the, um, or am I going towards the, uh, I think I'm going towards the, the walkway, actually, that connects the school, right? That connects the two school buildings? I think that's where I'm actually going, which I believe is this way. If it's not this way, then I totally forgot where it was. Oops. <laughs> totally forgot where it was. Well, it's definitely on the first floor, so we're on the first floor. I guess it would be around this corner over here. I'm going to turn that off now because my, uh, my battery's dying. How many batteries do I have on me, actually? Just one? Just one. Just one pair of batteries. Just one pair of batteries. Gonna have to walk through the goop. There we go. Is it not on the first floor? I thought it was on the first floor. Okay. Ah, fucking glass! Okay, this takes me back upstairs. 
And this is... I just did a big fucking circle, didn't I? Yeah, I totally just did a big fucking circle. Is there no map? At all? Jesus fuck. I'm so lost in this building. Maybe it is upstairs and I just don't remember. This is where... Oh, fuck. Okay. Wow. Don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> huh. This least this is the room I just came from. That led to the bathroom. So bathroom is Is the fucking <sighs> Do I gotta go completely around to the other side? I also think I have another talisman on me, right? If I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I had two talismans. Alright, so just in case. Just case. Just wanna know. I have a hard time running away from these ghosts in this game. So it wasn't. All right, what the fuck? Where's that goddamn door? That was stupid. That was real stupid. That I what I just did right there. That was amazingly stupid. Only a complete fucking idiot would have achieved that. Yes, it is on the first floor. I mean, that was my first thought, right? But then, maybe I just went, like, too far up. I know it's not that door. And this leads to the, um... This leads over here. I don't think I can go out that way. This leads over here. And this just goes back upstairs, which I don't want to go. Don't want to go back upstairs. think it's this door that I'm looking for, right? It's locked. There was a there was a door that I fucking went to and it was like, you know, and she said, "Oh, here's the this leads to the outside where it connects the two buildings." I just stepped in glass again, didn't I? Holy shit. Is that it right there? Is this the door? This just leads over here. Where the fuck? Where's this goddamn door? Like, I need a map for this place. I stepped in the same fucking pile of glass again, too. Yeah, even with proper tools, getting those boards off would be near impossible. Where the fuck am I going?
Like, is it not over here? <laughs> is this not the door right here? Maybe this is the doorway and I'm just stupid. Yeah, this is the one that I was looking for. Shit. Okay. Well, then where the hell am I going now, then? If this isn't where I'm supposed to go. I don't think I'm supposed to go out through the front. You never go out through the front. Hmm. Okay. So I ran away from I ran away from uh from Yuki. Was I supposed to go talk to her or something? I am... I am actively confused now. I assume I'm supposed to, you know, run away, go the other way. Or, uh... Hold up. By any chance, do they want me to go into the fucking janitor's room? Because I remember that in the first game, there was a passageway in the closet where you found him. <clears throat> I have no idea what's going on with my fucking voice tonight. <laughs> it's like getting raspier. Even th despite the fact that I haven't even talked that much at all today. Um, I know in the first game that there's like a passageway. Like in that closet. I think it was in that closet, at least. Like, is that what they want me to do? Nope. Huh. I appreciate the game for not holding my hand, but I wish they gave me some sort of direction. Instead of just like, go, figure it out, wander around, go step in some glass, get hit by some tripwires. Hmm. Was there any other doors that was, that was like locked that I'm trying to think of right now? Hmm. Fucking piece of shit. How bad am I fucking myself up? I'm messing myself up pretty good. Maybe I just head back into the infirmary, crawl in the corner and just cry. nothing I can do in the science lab. Maybe... I think I tried heading to 5A. I think 5A is still locked, right? There's also that room with the hole in it. Maybe I can finally interact with that. Which would be over here, right? If I remember correctly. Is that glass in front of me? I can't tell. looking for. I honestly don't know what the fuck to do next. Did 
Did I try going back to 5A? Thought I did. Is this the room with the hole in it? This is the room with the hole in it and the noose. I'm gonna try checking this again. Nope, all right, cool. That's still not a thing. Maybe I can try checking 5A again. Where do they want me to go? <laughs> oh, come on. is up here. Yeah, door to 5A is still locked. Uh, what about the other door to 5A? That one's still locked as well? Yeah, okay. Huh. So what, what do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Now it's locked. And that one's never gonna open. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen eventually, so might as well just get it over with, right? Fucking hell. Do I have a bandage on me? I actually don't. Oh, I still have the alcohol lamp. I thought that was gone. Can be lit without a flame source. Oh, can't be lit without a flame source. Okay. I was so confused. I was like, what the fuck you mean? Yep, I definitely... This is how I get myself killed. By just stabbing my fucking, stubbing my toe every five feet that I take, you know? Every five feet that I take, yep, that's right. Every five steps that I take. Tonight is not my night. It's one of those nights where I can't, where I can't get words together, you know? And I sound like a fucking imbecile. my circle of protection. Where the hell am I supposed to go and what the fuck am I supposed to do? Don't think there's anything I can do in the science room. The science room is all scienced out. There's that one room that was like the library, right? I haven't been there in a while. I don't even remember how to get there. And this leads to the room that I almost died in, right? Another bathroom. Opening now would seem extreme, like an extremely bad idea. Yep, that's right. All that bloody water's in there. I don't know. I guess I can just run back in there, right? If I'm gonna do that, I'm fucking reloading. That's for sure. Cause, cause I'm not dying from stupid shit like this. Right? Is this a? Uh... This isn't before I did the 
did the thing, right? This is after. Right? Yeah, okay, this is after. Just making sure. I'm gonna run the other way, head back upstairs, at the other side of the room, maybe... Maybe they just wanted me to run out and save my game and run back in or something. I'm not sure. And if that's the case, then that's kind of stupid. I really hope that's not the case, though. Where's this lead again? Oh yeah, this is the library room. Is the ghost still in here? Nope. Like a ladder up here. Don't think I can interact with that at all. Hmm. I don't know, let's head back in that room. See if I can do anything. seem like it. There's a, che a chair over here. This is where I got out. What do you want me to do, game? There, wait, what? Buffle the cabinet packed with articles, documentaries. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Where the fuck do you want me to go, video game? I guess I guess this is this is just the moment where you start checking every room and hope that something happens. Is this cabinet still still freaky? Do I still not trust this thing? Something not quite right about it. I don't trust it. I think this was the room where it had, like, the food sitting down for me? Wait, no, this isn't it. This is the dead room. <laughs> this is the one where Sanchiko came and saved me. Somehow. Even though Sanchiko is supposed to be gone, maybe it's a... Maybe it's something with my bloodline. Maybe I'm becoming the new Sanchiko. Infirmary. Can I blow myself up? I love how it says floor 2, but we actually don't have any access to floor 2 whatsoever. You just instantly go down to floor 1. And we're not going that way, even though I thought that's where we would be going. locked up and then this room is what again this room I don't even fucking remember oh this is the room with the food on it 
food that I don't fucking trust. Hey man, it's just food that's in like pristine condition. Should I eat it? In this creepy ass place? Like, of course not. Why would you do that? just takes us back upstairs. Maybe we just need to head to the room where we first showed up at. Maybe by any luck we'll run to Kishinima, right? There's that good old noose. Can't interact with that over there. And that door doesn't open. What could I be missing? Inventory. Talisman, alcohol, lamp, lab key. Can't be lit without flame. I don't have a flame. My matches are gone. Maybe I can get some matches in a... Uh, in the good old um, science room? Maybe. The last thing I want to do is like look up shit, you know? No one's coming to save you. Die, kill. You should die, 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 die. Why did I step on that? I saw it and I kept walking. Hmm. I checked these rooms. Yes, I did check this room. I'm running in so many fucking circles that I can't even remember what the hell was checked and what was not checked. I don't know, I can... I guess the science room is like the only room that I haven't fucking hell, that I haven't like really tried again, so... Maybe there's something in here? Unless they want me to start checking cabinets again, right? Which I don't want to do, to be honest. Wait, what? Met with many human eyes contained in a cabinet. Oh, God. Fucking... Mmm. <laughs> get me mad. Every time I step on glass. Every time. Nothing back in the infirmary. I might have to look up a walkthrough. Might have to look up a walkthrough. The game might have finally beaten me. I just really don't know. Where the hell I have to go?
out of ideas. I am out of ideas. Oh, shit. Huh. That was weird. That was weird. That was also interesting. He didn't chase me until I started running. So does the act of running itself attract the... Attract the spirits? The bad spirits? I have no idea where to go. I think I might need to look it up. I think that's the only thing I can do right now is just look up where the hell I have to go. check this room again real quick see if I find any uh, books or anything that'll help out What's this? Countless insect eggs. Okay, never mind. Oh, children books. Alright, well shit, that that's that's it for me. Time to look up a walkthrough, cause I have no fucking idea where to go. And I tried. I gave it the good, I gave it the good, solid, solid college try, you know what I mean? Alright, let's see. Corpse Party Blood Drive Walkthrough. Uh, what chapter am I even in right now? I think I'm in chapter 4? Uh, examine the heater for matches. Go to. Wait, what? Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. Um. Grab the loose board, grab the ghost crowns, examine the cabinet in the classroom to obtain classroom key. What? Main hallway of floor one. So I do gotta check cabinets. That's so weird. I mean, it's not weird in the sense of, you know, video games, but it's weird in the sense of corpse party, because usually if something's in, for the most part, if something's interactable, like worth interacting with, they will, um, they will, uh... Shit. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. If something's worth uh, your time interacting with, they'll make it, like, shiny, or they'll at least point you in the direction, like what they did with the uh, science room. It's a locker here. Enter. Do not enter. Do not enter. Um... You know? Now I just want to check this. Oh, this is... Okay, there is a floor, too. Huh. Guess my bad. Guess I just didn't know. <laughs> I didn't feel like this was a floor, too. I felt like everything was just, like, one big space. So there's, like, one staircase that just... That just ignores floor, two in its entirely. Entirely? Entirety. Words. I can do them. Alright. 
So over here, there's a cabinet somewhere. I wish they should have told me like to check cabinets first. Because they just go... They go, oh, by the way, darkening's still a thing. Don't go checking things. And who knows, maybe seeing bugs in the cabinet can freak your character out. Alright, so where the fuck is this key? Let's see. Uh, main hallway, examine the cabinet to obtain the classroom key. Exit the room to the hallway and use the door. What the fuck? In the custodian's closet. In the custodian closet. Didn't I check that already earlier, though? Maybe I guess the key just didn't spawn until now. Which, if that's the case... If, if it is the case, that's pretty lame. But I can understand it for, you know... So that, uh... So that it doesn't sequence break or anything like that. But at the same time, why couldn't they just, you know, have... Have Yuki drop the key, <laughs> right? Pretty sure I checked this cabinet already. This cabinet custodian would have store for keys, classrooms. Hey, there's a key. Okay, yeah, I definitely did check this one already. That's so weird. You can't... You can't blame me for that. By the way, I can't tell if there's a bug on my screen or if that's the actual game. Okay, it's the actual game. Cool. Because <laughs> you see how it just goes up there? I'm like, what the fuck is that? It's bothering me. Okay, yeah, I definitely checked that cabinet before, but the key just didn't spawn. And there was no, there was no, you know, indication that I should go back to that room and check it out again. So, game, shame on you. Shame on you. Shouldn't have done that. So, no, that's not the room. This is the room. Wait, no, this isn't the room. <laughs> it's the other room. So this one is the room. There we go, use classroom key. There is a lot of twitchy things happening over here. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, also make sure... Ha! Aha! Caught it just in time. I was like, let me make sure I pull out my good old flashlight. Is that another one in front of me? Yep. You can even... I can't even see it. I couldn't even see it, but I felt it. This one I see, though. Come on. Also, my fucking... My phone battery just died. That's great. Not my phone battery. The, the game's phone battery. Keep scouring the room. Make sure we're in a tripwire-free zone. Like that one right there. Alright. By the way, I love how there's just like a fucking Ouija board sitting there. That is a Ouija board, right? Yep, that is 100% a Ouija board. Pick that shit up. Band-Aid. For when you get fucked up. I'm gonna check this cabinet first over here. Batteries. Well, it's the only thing in the room to interact with. So, uh, get to, uh, Weijing. This is a spirit board. The kind you use for a seance. Almighty God cleansed his child spirit, uh, child spirits, child sins. The voice seemed to be coming from upstairs. From upstairs. So I'm going upstairs now? I don't have a talisman no more, right? Because that fucking ghost came and got me. 
Okay, I guess I'm guess I'm going up. I fucking hmm, stepping on glass. Guess I'm going upstairs then. You know. This a dead end or this uh have a this did have okay cool it did have a um staircase to it so this takes me to floor two which is where i want to be i assume i assume it's directly upstairs almighty god cleanse this child's sins the lord has spoken no soul may reside in trees that have died voice seemed to be coming from inside the classroom. Got no choice but to go in. Let me just head on over here. Because some spooky shit about to go down. You know what I mean? noose strike down the person with one firm swing of thy divine blade oh no I'm just gonna excuse myself suddenly there was a woman standing in the middle of the classroom she had her back turned to me as soon as I saw her my phone screen flickered off leaving the room in darkness all I can make out beforehand of course, this figure was female. No other distinguishing features. I thought I saw something at the corner of my eye. I'm going to be honest. That's why I paused. I'm just going to go. Hey, man. You look like you're hungry. I know there's like some strawberry milk bun thing downstairs. You can have it if you want it. I said you can have it if you want it. Ah! I'm getting the fuck out of here. She definitely still coming. Oh lord, she coming. Getting that locker. Damn right I'm getting in this fucking locker. Hmm. I guess she didn't come through the room. Is there something I'm supposed to do in there? Did she hit me? No, I'm still doing fine. That creepy bitch. Let me try entering the room through the other way. Okay. Strangely, I was met with no resistance. But I know I fucking bolted out of that room as fast as I could. <laughs> Just going, uh-uh, fuck that. I'm not even going to challenge her. Now we have this, 
and we're on we're on the second floor right we're on the second floor so we need to head this way the first floor can I go through yes I can I had to think about it for a moment I'm like can I go through over here like if this I didn't know if this way was like blocked or not but it's not I don't think it is By the way, I want to point out that scream of terror that I had when she chased me out that room. That was real. <laughs> that was not me playing that up. That was legit. That was legit me pressing the button and and the character taking her sweet time to open that fucking door. All right. Let's head on downstairs. Ooh. You wanna know the bad part about this? And all the other stuff that we played for Corpse Party? I know for a fact, you're not supposed to go anywhere near those woods. But she did say it was in the courtyard. It was this way, right? Where is it? Come on, please be here. I don't like that there's... I don't trust the woods. I don't want to go too far. Doesn't seem to be over here anywhere. Cool. Good. Don't need to go that far. Oh. I'm blind. Here it is. Found it. Haha. -ha. Yes, this is it. Huh? It did look similar to the Book of Shadows, but the green cover binding was was fashioned in an unfamiliar pattern. The grimoire, the Book of Shadows, was kind of like this, right? Placed it on the ground and cracked open the cover. It seemed to be a medical manual featuring numerous old diagrams on, on autopsy and dissections. Conjoined to twins, incurable diseases, twin pregnancies, uh, fucking, in, in, I don't even know how to fucking say that word. Fatal death. It was all childbirth related. I couldn't believe it. If you come all the, <laughs> I come all the way, came all this way, put myself and others, put myself and others at risk. All for this? Damn. So... I have a question. What's going on with Ayumi? Because she's been having this weird thing happen to her. Where she's like, every time I'm in a haunted place, I gotta fucking piss myself. And then once she leaves, she's like, I still feel like something, something's happened right like it persists and I feel like it's not just her nerves now I don't want to say anything right but I really I am not you know after looking at this book right here right here that she's looking at I really hope they're not going for any type of like you're pregnant with a demon baby type shit I don't need that right now <laughs> The wrong book. This isn't it. This isn't the book. So where's the real one? What the fuck? Why? Stop. You you don't do that. What are you doing? Why are you burning? Huh? 
Huh? Who are you? Huh? What the fuck is that thing? Ayumi, stop! What the hell happened to you? Aiko? Keep your distance from that girl. You're in grave danger. Yeah, I can tell what gave it away. Was it the monster face or the axe? Who is she? Can't be Sachiko, can it? I don't know. But that's not important right now. Listen, Ayumi, okay? You came here in search of the Book of Shadows, right? Yeah. The Book of Shadows isn't here. It never was. The only thing here is that Nirvana is the Nirvana that the book spawned. There's nothing at all to be gained from this place. Alright, first of all, Aiko, nice to see you're okay. Second of all, get a grip of yourself, because you better not be you better not be going into no darkening shit. I actually kinda like you, so I don't want you to die. The thoughtograph I took was a reflection of this girl's malice. It was a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> to bring in more people. Aiko pronounced, Aiko produced several more photos exactly like the thoughtographs she showed me before. Look, these are all thoughtographs I found here. Each photo varied, uh, varied wildly in coloring, with some looking brand new and others looking significantly aged, but the figure in the picture was always exactly the same. They're identical to yours. No matter whose picture it is, they all show the same girl in the same pose. But the thing that gets imprinted in her hand is different every time. It's based on whatever the thoughtographers is most desperate to find. Sure enough, the item the girl was holding in her left hand differed in every single picture. It wasn't just the Book of Shadows, but things like silk cloth, human bones, a beat-up checkered patterned doll, always held the same way, but never in the same object. I like how you're explaining all this right now, and thank you for explaining it to me. There's a monster behind you with an axe. We really should be running the other way. We were all baited. We all got you baited. <laughs> we are all baited by the book that doesn't even exist here, and we walked right into it. This place is under her control, and if we stay here, we're all gonna go insane. We can't last much longer. We need to get out. Do the chant, now! Huh? What? I was confused for a moment, wondering why Aiko wouldn't just make us use the Ever After Stones to get home right then and there, but that's when I noticed her hand. There were massive puncture wounds on it, as if she were, as if she were bitten by a wild dog. It's also, it was so bad that, uh, God, I can't even read. It was so bad that the white ligaments in her fingers were actually exposed, visible to the naked eye. Oh, shit. Come on, hurry. She was breathing heavily, a testament to how much pain she must have been enduring. I didn't want to crush her spirits, but I knew what she was hoping for, and it was something I couldn't provide. I can't. You have the Ever After Stones, right? So use them. I don't. The person I came with has them, and I don't know where he is. Oh, we're all dead. We can't go home, can we? So what do we do? I don't know, we got this gremlin monster just sitting here getting ready to kill us both. Oh no! No! I like her! Oh no! Aiko! Aiko, no! I'm burning! Water, it's gotta be water. There's like puddles on the ground. Roll around in it. God, what to do, what to do? There has to be something I can use, I guess. 
Still had some water left in the bottle I brought with me. I quickly removed it from the pack and dumped its contents over Aiko. Oh, shit. See, this is the part where I would say she didn't die on screen, so it's okay. But more Shigi didn't die on screen either. He just fucking wandered off and gave up. Oh, God. I go, come on. Which way does she go? I go, please don't die. I go. I'm out of batteries. What now? If this dies on me, I need to hurry. I chase after Aiko. It was really the only thing I could do. She may not have had the stones anymore, but safety in numbers was a real commodity in these parts. Aw, oh, here he is. The man of the hour. Damn it. It's darker than I remember. I guess I'm here, though. That means Heavenly Host is still standing after all. That's a real kick in the ass. Shinozaki, are you here? Somewhere? A candle! That's one of Shinozaki's candles. No mistaking it. Guess you couldn't have gone far. Hang in there, Shinozaki. I'm a coming. Papa Bear's coming. The true VIP, right? Soulful testimonies of Himori. I uh, got Himori Aragashi. Uh, Ara. Fuck. I can't say the name. <laughs> Aga Agarashi. There we go. Agarashi has been unlocked. Thank God. Jesus. Fuck. EX chapter 1 and 2 have been unlocked. Would you like to save system data? Of course. I got two achievements. Last Waltz and I didn't get to read the other one. There's those bonuses. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright. Back that up. Oh no, not continue. My bad. New chapter. Oh, extra chapter. If I click on this, will it just go straight to extra chapter? Because I don't want that to happen. Okay, cool. Huh. Interesting. Chapter 4. Pillars of the Six Demons. Oh, come on, Aiko. Please don't die. I've been wandering around. I've been wandering around, exhausted out of my mind, aimlessly searching every corner of the building for Aiko. Eventually, I wound up in a custodian's closet. Oh, please don't tell me she's dead. Oh no! Come on, I really liked her. Out of the new characters, she was the only one that I liked. Well, I liked the teacher too, but she was the only one that I liked. It was no use. Aiko was long gone. I was all alone. I've been in here long enough that I began to worry about my phone battery dying. I didn't want to shut it off completely, but at least, but I at least felt it. At least felt it prudent to turn off the screen. What now? If the book isn't here, then what the hell did I just get worked up about? I should have never come here. My voice was breaking. I'm more, uh, my voice was breaking. I'm more, uh, I'm more or less, uh, fuck, I can't read. I'm more or less given up by this point. Huh? My newly darkened phone screen suddenly lit up again as a call came through. It was, it was Misato. Yo, full of regrets again, I take it? You're pretty pathetic, you know? Fuck you. Where are you? Well, that didn't take long. I went from relieved to infuriated in a single heartbeat. What the hell is with you? Are you watching me or something? You knew exactly how I was feeling last time you called too. How do you know my moods? 
Don't know. Just my sixth sense, I guess. And why don't you pick up when I call you? Well, that's an easy one, because you're a pain in the ass. So, how's everything going? I sighed a little on the inside. It was becoming clearer and clearer that this was just Misato's way. I tried my best to ignore his abuse and simply answer his question. It's not here. Huh? The Book of Shadows is not here, confirmed by the Psychic Intelligence Girl. The photo was created by someone in the school as a ruse to bring people here from the outside world. It's a fake. You serious? I'm out of options. There's no more leads to follow for resurrecting my friends. Hmm. Some Shinozaki you turned out to be. Was that bloodline slowly turned to piss with each generation or something? You can't even get your hands on a single book of shadows? I'm no longer just embarrassed for you. I'm embarrassed by you. But you said it would be here too, didn't you? You're a liar. Oh man, that's rich. Nothing I told you is a lie. But if the skin isn't here, it's definitely a um, miscalculation on my part. The skin? Listen, the dimension represents the nirvana that the Book of Shadows created, right? Somewhere in here, you'll find the nirvana's core. I didn't tell you about this. What does that have to do with anything? If I can't find the book, I can't resurrect my friends. If I can't resurrect my friends, there's no point of me coming here. So what are you going on about? There's a girl trying to kill me who's acting an awful lot like Shinozaki, and I can't take much more of this bullshit. Hey, you might want to listen to someone giving you crucial information, okay? Since the Book of Shadows created the Nirvana, the Nirvana's core is made up of contents. Huh? Find the core somewhere in the dimension, and it's pretty much the same thing as finding the Book of Shadows. Meaning, you might be able to cast Soul Revival Magic or whatever. So I can still bring everyone back? Yeah, even without the skin, there's still all the internal organs. If the spell's there, you should be able to cast it from the contents alone. My cheeks were on fire. <laughs> that's a that's a clever choice of words, considering what the fuck we just watched. Felt like a, it felt as though all the blood in my body had been pushed into my head. You got bigger's problem right now, though. There's a situation here, and you created it. And now you're gonna have to take responsibility. Huh? What kind of situation? Something happened at Manaki Shinazaki's apartment, right? Manaki, that's not even how you say her name. Makan... Makina. 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 Yeah. Makina Shinazaki's apartment. That girl you came in contact with? The reason she's here now is because you brought something you shouldn't have from Makina's home. What did I bring? You mean the Ever After Stones? No. Some part of a human body. Hair, bones, nails. Didn't I get bitten or something? Those two baby teeth I found, the ones that were stuck in my hand. Ah, fuck. I figured there must have been some kind of meaning, so I wrapped them in tissue and stuck them in my pocket. And I'd forgotten all about them until this very moment. Teeth, huh? Yeah, baby teeth. And I do have them with me right now. The girl you encounter is in Sachiko. The Mar- God, the Martubas? I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that. The Martubas are researching this, but apparently there was another girl in the Yoshi's womb alongside Sachiko, known as a vanishing twin. So, are you telling me Sachiko exorbed her? What? She died inside her mother, basically melted and got absorbed by her. Okay, yep. Yeah, because that definitely happens. Uh, died and got absorbed by her younger sister, so you can kind of think of her as Sachiko's unborn older twin. This was almost too much to process. Never mind my wildest dreams where I've imagined something so bizarre. Really? That's way more common than you actually think it is. I think I heard her say, Sachi. Could that be her name? Sachi. Huh. Good. Good name anyways. 
That's what we'll call her then, Sachi. You can think of her as a, pretty, as a petty spirit from our own world. Nothing more than a mischievous poltergeist at worst. Unfortunately, you brought her teeth to Heavenly Host, so now she managed to give herself a physical form and awaken here. And in doing so, she basically absorbed the entirety of the Nirvana's power and has gone completely berserk. I don't get it. Isn't Sachi supposed to be the one that's also s sending the thoughtographs? Why would Sachi want... Hmm. Maybe I guess it would be to lead her? To lead her? Lead someone to her? So then she can leave teeth inside of them? And then once they go? Maybe it was a whole plan orchestrated but by a ghost. But, I mean, if it wasn't that then it's one hell of a coincidence. She doesn't have any higher intelligence functions like Sa Wait, what? Functions like Sachiko, though, which means you can't reason with her. She's pretty much pure evil. Okay. So that just kind of confirmed what the hell I was saying. So this couldn't have been a whole plan, right? So then where the fuck does the thoughtographs come from? Is that Nirvana itself just trying to get people here? And if that's the case, then why would Nirvana need to do that? Hmm. Because if her intelligence level isn't that, isn't, you know, isn't nowhere near Sachiko's, then there's no way she'd be able to plan this whole entire thing out. Where still her powers are so strong that the spiritual chaos she's creating is spreading into the real world too. Causing all kinds of shit to go down. Probably an unconscious grudge on her part for never having a chance to be born. How did I awaken her? How's this even possible? Why would tea from a child who was never born even exist? You know what? You are actually smart for acting that part. Obviously, something happened at, <clears throat> at Makino Shinazaki's apartment. Though we may never know what, not worth worrying about right now either. Oh, so the good old, the good old, we don't know, I won't explain the story. Fuck it, that's just what happens, I guess. Good old plot loophole. We need to focus on what we can do about Sachi. Her power of absorption is enormous, and it's causing this Nirvana to shrink. And that's causing the dimensional wall that separates the world from ours to start to break down. The wall between the two worlds. What happens if it falls? Pretty much what you expect. It'd be the end of the world as we know it. Huh? If Sachi gets out into the real world, then then ensuing chaos would be would be imminent. Imminent. Fuck. <coughs> I need to take a drink of water. God damn it. I'm dying. Would be immense. People would go insane and start to kill each other or themselves. Death would pretty much rule the day. And those who moved on on the ever after would all suddenly wake up. The earth would be taken over by vengeful spirits, leaving very little room for flesh and blood stragglers. How does one respond to the claim like that? Especially when the elephant in the room is... Elephant in the room is that this was all my fault. I'd literally be responsible for the end of civilization. I was completely speechless, in shock most likely. All I could do was breathe heavily. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, so loudly that I felt like some part of me was about to, was about to snap. I had to say something to Misato. No, that can't be true. How does it feel, huh? What do you... Bet it feels pretty weird knowing that your actions are going to bring about the end of the world. Misato, what the fuck? First of all, where are you? Second of all, what is your fucking plan here? Why, why do you even want to be here? Seriously, what the hell is your problem? Why would you say that? You're such an ass. I have no idea this. I had no idea this could happen. <laughs> Whatever, man. I guess it's the end of the world. Ugh. You had no idea? Please. Oh, my stomach. I couldn't take any more of Misato's crap. 
All I could do was scream at him over the phone and hope it hurts his ears or something. If you're so frustrated with yourself that you're that close to snapping, don't. There might still be a light at the end of the tunnel. Didn't even phase him. He just kept on talking with that same cocky tone in his voice. The only person who can stop the world from ending again, well, <laughs> ending is again you. Then why don't you come and help me? You got fucking psychic powers or some shit. It was just one sound, but all I could barely, <laughs> it was all I could barely get out. I had almost no voice at this point. I was just a mess of tears and confusion. Listen up, okay? You have a new objective. In order to stop Sachi, you have to get to this, you have to get this Nirvana moving. And for that to happen, you'll need some real divine providence on your side. Divine Providence? Providence. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Providence. You seen any pliers since you got there? Pliers? What kind? There was that black object I saw from the window, but I didn't know if it was what he meant. The Nirvana was built out of a bunch of... Sephiroth? Sephiroth. Hmm. Out of a bunch of Sephiroth and a bunch of pliers, okay? Pliers are made up of spiritual matter, and honestly, why am I saying pliers? Pillars. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> the, pl <laughs> the pliers. The pillars are made up of spiritual matter, and honestly, I'm not going to be able to explain it to you, so you'll understand. Uh, so just know that there's, there's a call the pillars of the six demons. Pliers. The pliers. That's what happens when you read too fast. They should each be located somewhere in the school. And even though they're called pillars, they can really be any shape or size. Pillars of six demons. Just keep listening. The pillars of the six demons that exist here are in heavenly hosts, represent the north, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, and south directions. You need to release the seal on each of them to complete the hexagram within the school. And you're the only one who can do it since you're Shinazaki. I'm the only one, but why? He literally just said, because you're a Shinazaki. I don't, I don't know how you missed that part. Because <laughs> you're bloodline? Because you're a Shinazaki, and this Nirvana was brought into existence by the Shinazaki bloodline. Yoshi Shinazaki's actions created this mess, so only I could clean it. I consider the responsibility that I had been laid upon me, and I consciously gripped the hem of my shirt. The power sealed in each pillar is fairly weak, though. But before you ask, so what do I do? That's why you're releasing all six, to gather all the energy into, the air, into one area. When the hexagram is formed around the core, all the power will crystallize and combine. Then no matter how strong this Sachi is, you should be able to send her back to hell. Why do you know all this? And why should, why should I believe any of it? Can you show me any proof that any of this is true? I'd rather not, but fine. I told you when we got here, I'm yo- I'm- I'm yo- oh god. I'm Yogora? Fuck. Yogura? Which means, I'm descended from a bunch of shitty spiritual mediums. Specifically, I'm the son of a shit- of a Shinto priest. My knowledge of the Nirvana and Hell for Matter was all beaten to me before I even knew how to walk. I don't recognize that name. Sis talked about them once or twice. Oh, I don't. I do recognize that name. Well, we're kind of up there with the Shinazaki family, which is how I got to know your sister. Oh yeah, you said you were her protege, right? Yep. Anything more than that? Huh? The fuck you implying? Don't go making shit up in your head, I swear. If you weren't her sister, I wouldn't even bother with lost cause like you. Now listen, first thing you gotta do is defeat the spirit. Even if you do manage to find Nirvana's core, there's not much point in bringing your friends back to a dying world. So your goal here is simple. Protect the world by hurling Sachi back into hell where she belongs and find the core so you can resurrect your buddies. Think you can handle that? Uh, sure. I mean, maybe I can? I felt like a felt like a boat drifting out to the ocean, allowing myself to be carried wherever the wind may take it, whether I wanted to go that way or not. 
even with the best plan of action laid out in front of me, in no uncertain terms, I found it difficult to, to be certain about anything. It was like my willpower had already died. Where are you? I was staring at the old cube Misto, Misto gave me before we jumped here. Eyes swollen with tears. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to find you too. But I think we're in different spaces. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Even if I succeed, how could I get back? <sighs> was this basically a suicide mission for me? I didn't want to do any of this. All I wanted to do all I wanted to do at that moment was break down and cry. Don't worry though. I'll come and save you. Once we meet up, if everything's taken care of, we can go home together using the Ever After Stones. So take care, okay? Can I really believe that? Yeah, that gem I gave you will react to the pillars of sick demons. So keep an eye on it, and you'll should be you'll should be able to figure out when you're going near one. Anyways, good luck. Wait, by Jim, you mean... Kind of quick. Then the conversation was over. This? I stared a little more skeptically at the so-called Argus Cube. Hmm, Argus Cube. In my hands. Did he know all this was going to happen before we even came? I don't know, maybe he had a second one on him, gave one to you, and kept one for himself. Damn it. Why does it have to be so cold? What the fuck is on that TV screen? I'm not gonna pay attention to that, I'm just gonna move on. Huh? Sounded like it was coming from the second floor. Could it be Aiko? Guess we're heading to the second floor. Now it's a new chapter. I'm not sure if the if the trip wires have come back or not. But first things first, I need to find a fucking save point. Also, the music's changed. That's nice. Hmm. Uh, which way? This way. This way would be a better way to go. I think. Does this take me to the second or the third floor? I'm hoping the third. Well, no, the second. Yeah, the second. Yeah, the second floor. Yeah, okay, cool. Now, I'm gonna head to my candle to save my game. The number you have dialed is no longer in service, or the carrier is presently outside of the service area. Please try again later. Not gonna get through, huh? Damn it! Hmm. Alright. Aiko, please don't be dead. Please tell me you made it out somehow. Uh... There's that tripwire. I saw it. Now, looking at the time, I kind of do want to end the stream here, but I want to see if I can run into Kishinuma. I really do. That's what I'm worried about right now. What is it? Make progress? I finally got through? What's wrong? You lonely? I wanted to tell you a little bit more. I want you to- oh, fuck. I want you to tell me a little bit about my sister. Okay, but don't stop moving. I'll talk while you walk. 
That was an uncompromising. Uh, that was an overcompensation answer if I ever heard one. He wanted to talk about Hinoe just as much as I wanted him to. And I'd be more than happy to play along. That's fine. She was too kind for her own good. Yeah, she was. But that's one of the things I loved about her. My grandfather was the last surviving member of our society. Family of Shinto priests with spiritual powers. He was the inheritor of the entire order. After the old man and my parents died, I was left all alone. The ones who took me in were the WI, the Wicca Institution. The Wicca Institute, an association dedicated to the worship of spirits. They're a pretty big organization with branches throughout the world. It was there that Hinoe taught me about nature worship and animism. I gained more knowledge than I knew what to do with and learned of all the possibilities that the world had to offer. And Ayumi, though I am absolutely certain it's your fault Sachi has gotten as strong as she has, another way to look at this, you're actually saving lives here. What? If Sachi were left as she was, she remained in the real world as an impure spirit, hidden away in the shadows, continuing to kill people in all kinds of fucked up ways, <laughs> forever. So I guess she, I guess Sachi is the one who fucking like dragged the girl up to the floor and fucking to, up to the floor, up to the ceiling, and like just snapped her spine. The only way to stop her would have ultimately been to do what you're doing right now. Did my ears deceive me? Was that an act of consideration by Misato? Was he actually being kind to me for once? For the first time since I got here, I actually felt a little hopeless, helpful. There was a faint glow within me now, brightening up the darkness around me ever so slightly. Okay, so don't let your sister down now. I won't. Little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Little shit. Huh. Well, it had me facing this way, so maybe I'm supposed to go up here? Try my best to keep an eye out for these goddamn tripwires. Hmm. I'm so tired. I leaned against the wall and closed my eyes. For the first thing, first thing I saw was Kishinuma's face. Kishinuma. I wonder what he did when he realized I was gone. Shinozaki, don't go! And he got fucked up. He was so desperate to keep me from coming back to this horrible place. The image of him reaching out to me, begging me not to go, was burned into my unconscious mind. I hope he's not hurt. It'll all be alright, you know? If anything happens, don't hesitate to call me, okay? I'm here for you. And I don't want you blindly rushing into dangerous situations like you did yesterday. I may not be able to offer much, but I'm confident I can at least protect you from harm. Can you really, though? I wasn't mad at him tried his best, but this whole situation was just unreal. I don't think he really knew what he was saying when he when he claimed it'll all be alright. Fuck! <laughs> I don't think that idiot knew what he was talking about. You talking shit? Just come flying through the door. Kishinuma? Ah, fuck. Shinozaki? Thank God! I was beginning to worry my luck had ran out, and I'd never see you again. No, oh, why? Did you actually come here for me? I couldn't barely... I could barely contain... <laughs> I can barely contain my joy. I could barely contain the joy and relief I felt having Kishinuma by my side once more. I tried to express it as a... I tried to express it as a concern, but I couldn't really fake it very well. 
Damn it. Yeah. I've been searching like mad for you this whole time. I was so happy to see him. Couldn't hold back my tears. They poured down my cheeks and streams. Never would I ever expect myself to regard Kishinuma as the shining beacon of hope in this dark, gloomy place. Oh god, one of them is definitely gonna die this game. <laughs> Shit. And it might be Kishinuma. Oh no. You're such a dumbass. Always caution to the wind, no regard for the consequences. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting to be insulted right off the bat. Kind of shocked me. You just leap right in, without taking even a moment to look around first. The hell are you, a cat? Well, you were the one who threw the stones out the damn window. <laughs> I wasn't about to take this sitting down. If he was going to fire at me, I was going to fire right back. Which is why you two are so perfect for each other. Too bad in your family bloodline, if anyone ever marry, <laughs> if, if you ever, you know, when you marry, the guy always dies. So your bloodline's fucked regardless. And I'm not a dumbass. The other guy was kinder to me than you, Kishinuma. I'm sorry? What? Excuse me? Was I the one who fucking burst in your goddamn bathroom while you were taking a bath? The one in the parka? Yeah. Hey, Shinazaki. What do you think would happen if you died? Die here, I mean. Like... Shinohara, and Suzumoto. Your existence was erased from the world. Can you even imagine how sad that would be? His voice was cracking, and his lips were trembling. He wasn't asking about how my death would affect me. He was asking about how it would affect him. My eyes widened and glared over yet again as I realized what he meant and why he was saying this. I'm sorry. Ayumi, I have no idea why I like your character. I really have no idea. Cause you're just a pain in the ass. Oh God, you're so stupid. But I like Ayumi and I want her to win. And I like Kishinuma and I want him to win. And I hate all the other new characters besides Aiko and her sister, the teacher. And and when it comes to what's his name, fucking what's his name? God damn it! What's the name of the actual main, the quote-unquote actual main character? Is it S Satoshi, right? When it comes to him, I don't know why the dude just has to look in one direction and suddenly he just he's just swimming in pussy. It's like, bro. He's like, dude, come on. <laughs> a man, like a character who, for the most part, doesn't really do much. Like, even in the first game, he didn't really do much. Not as much as fucking Kishi Numa. Holy shit. But listen, okay? In order to... Oh, shit. I'm gonna get grabbed by something, aren't I? Yep. Crap, he's here. You need to run, Shinazaki. <laughs> he said, close that fucking door. I love to stay in chat, but I need to take care of this. Go, get the hell out of here. What? Huh? Just go, damn it. Damn it! How strong is this thing? What are you doing? Go! But... I don't want to see any more friends die, okay? If that Parker guy has been good to you. Then that's great. I don't care if I'm the one to protect you, as long as you're safe. Now go already, and don't die. 
save him, run away. Ah! <laughs> I couldn't choose. I didn't feel like I had time to argue or even think about my decision. All I could do was suggest, do as is just run. And yet, that's enough. Hey, I don't want to see you die either, you know? And I resent being made to feel the same way you do. Shinozaki. All right, cool, that's fun. Let's get the hell out of here. Shit, he's coming. All right, you win. I was going to save him anyways, to be honest. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Of course he's coming. What are you standing there? Shit, he's still after us? Kishnuma, downstairs. Oh, fuck. That dude is fast. Damn it. He's really persistent. Kishnuma, there. We can hide in the cabinet. Got it. The both of you? Can you fit in there? I mean, she's pretty small. Looks like we lost him. Um, thank you. Same to you. Thanks. I was gonna save him anyways. That's my boy Kishinuma. I can't leave him behind. I was gonna save him anyways. So he's still... This guy's still around. Can't believe that atomical model is still up to its old tricks. Even after losing its master. That was a close one. Oh, Shinazaki. You have those stones? No, Misito has them. We got separated as soon as we arrived. Kishinuma looks stunned by the news. Not that I could blame him. Seriously? Put his palm to his forehead and scratched his hair for a moment. Clearly considering his options. Actually, Kishinoma, now you're able... How were you able to get here? We had the only pair of Ever After Stones, didn't we? Oh yeah, that kind? That's kind of a long story, but the gist of it is... The Aiko girl had another pair and then squirreled... She had another pair of them squirreled away. Aiko? Oh, don't remind me. That's how you got here. Not exactly. There's this other girl who stole those stones from Aiko at the exact moment she teleported. And I kind of forced myself here along with her. But when I came to, I was alone. So that other girl is also here in Heavenly Host, then? Yeah, most likely those stones were the real deal. So if I'm here, then she's gotta be too. I think her name was Magari? Hmm, Magari. I kinda rather not run into her again. She seems like she'd be bad for our health. No, I guess that doesn't really matter, huh? She's got the stone, so without her, we may not even have a way of getting back. Our options are either to find the Misato guy, or, like, to sneak up on Maragi and take- Maragi, I keep calling her Maragi. Magari and take- and take her down, I guess. So, what's the deal on your end? Well, first of all, I really have to find Aiko. But then also... I brought, to, I brought him up to speed on everything that happened since my arrival in Heavenly Host, and he filled me in on his encounter with Magari and the events leading up to that. Most notably, however, I explained my mission to him in as much detail as I could, I told him everything I knew about the Pillars of the Six Demons, and about Saji. <laughs> Kishinuma's just like, dude, come on. 
the hell, Sachi? Sachiko had an older sister? And she may actually be more dangerous than Sachiko, we knew. Since the one... Since this one can't even be reasoned with. Damn. Man, that's bad. Oh, and there he is. Satoshi. Let me guess, he's gonna show up at the last second and save the day because this guy is just suddenly, he's just so fucking good at what he does. He didn't even have a part, he didn't even really do anything in Book of Shadows in that game, right? He had a little part with Miss Yui, and that was it, right? God, I fucking hate Satoshi. <laughs> Colonia Academy was a bust. His workplace was a bust. He wasn't at home. And I can't even get through to Shinozaki's phone at all. Where are those two? What's happening to them? As I walked past the convenience store, my eyes were instantly drawn to a couple of bold-faced headlines prominently displayed in the window. Another bizarre death, and the ghost right beside you. And these were sp these were sport rags. What the hell is going on in the world right now? Why are everybody talking about ghosts and shit? As I turned the final darkened corner to my home, I found another mystery waiting for me. Obvious, obvious bodyguards in black suits stationed at each corner of the house. What's going on? I recognize that one. He's the same guy who brought me my lunch on the school roof, I think. I'm home. Tadaimas. Well, welcome back. Where's my mom? Where's my sister? Uh, Miss Kwan? This was too weird. This was too weird. Just. What do you mean it's too weird? Just fucking. Just shut your mouth and accept it. Jesus. Fuck. I never seen someone complain about such a great situation before. <laughs> You know, minus the murder and your friends dying and all that. But before I had time to process the situation, my sister chimed in as well. There she is! Oh, look at her. The perfect little angel. I hope you don't have to do anything this game, Yuka. I don't want you to do anything. You did more than your brother in the first game. Like, you're cool, Yuka. Just sit down, chill out. You don't ever have to do anything again. She even did more in Book of Shadows, for fuck's sake. Welcome home, big brother. Miss Kwan's really nice teacher, huh? Yuka? Yuka was now standing right up against Miss Kwan's collapsing, uh, collapsing onto her arms. See? Even sister approves. Welcome home, Satoshi. Miss Kwan really is wonderful, wonderful kind teacher, isn't she? Wonderfully, wonderfully kind teacher. Mom? Again, before I had time, even mom agrees. Even the mother agrees. So, just shut up and let it happen. <laughs> Again, before I had time to really process anything, my mom appeared from behind the two, a cheerful grin on her face and spoon dangling from her mouth. Welcome home, Satoshi. Even Naomi agrees. Does Naomi still have a crush on Satoshi? Is that still a thing? Oh no, wait, it probably, you know what, it probably is. But I mean, at this point, I assume that she wouldn't really be thinking that much about it. But she probably still has a crush on Satoshi because the, uh, the stuff that happened in Book of Shadows, most of them are like what if scenarios, right? Hmm. Naomi? My mom, my sister, and Naomi were all gathered tightly around Miss Kuan as if they were as if they, as if she were their leader and they were her squadron. This was all just too surreal. Miss Kuan, what's going on? Oh well, rather than have Nakashima stay with me the whole time, I thought maybe it would be beneficial for her to visit, since you all seem to get along with her so well. I don't mind. Come on, here. Huh. I 
I turned around to an image of Naomi looking the happiest I've seen her in months with Yuka sitting on her lap triumphantly. Yuka's really handling everything super fucking well. And it's a little surprising. Maybe she's just, maybe she's just like, fuck it, I don't want to remember that shit. I'm done with that. That chapter of the life closed. <laughs> I see what you mean. Now, dinner's ready, so go wash your hands. We're having curry tonight. It made sense, but I still wasn't entirely satisfied with Miss Kuan's explanation. I didn't dislike her, far from it. <laughs> he said I didn't dislike her, far from it. Like, I'm telling you. <laughs> but it genuinely, bo it genuinely bothered me to see my mom and my sister just give in to the stranger they only just met. You shut your fucking mouth and you let it happen, okay? And a few minutes later, at the dinner table, things only got more awkward. How can it get more awkward? Alright, Satoshi, say uh oh. 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 Oh, listen, you just shut up and you let it happen. <laughs> Miss Kwan's cheeks swelled up like a chipmunk's, and she was inappropriately close to me. This was a f un this was officially well past the point of being too weird. We were in the uncharted territory. <laughs> Huh? Food needs to be chewed 100 times, you know. The saliva from chewing help. What the fuck? The saliva from chewing helps break down soothing the throat and even the vocal cords. So I pre chewed this for you. Now say, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, what? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Hold up. What? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what? In front of the family? In front of the sister? In front of the friend who has a crush, <laughs> and everyone's okay with it. I'll pat. No, Satoshi, listen. Hear me out. Hear me out. Satoshi, hear me out. Again, Satoshi, a character that doesn't really do much but just swimming in pussy. I just don't understand it. But whatever. <laughs> I'll pass. I think you should swallow that yourself. Also, you're pretty close. I stuck my palm out in the universal stop suggestion as politely as I could and refused her generous offer. Oh, it was generous, all right. Trust me. That lady is freaky freaky. Satoshi, you shut your mouth and you let that happen. <laughs> you got a real diamond in the rough there. Are you sure? All right. I'm a fast chewer, you know. So... I'm simply, I'm simply thought it might make more sense to give you a bite and save you the hassle. I, I gotta take a moment to just realize what the fuck I'm reading. Mother birds and their chicks do this all the time. You can be my mama bird any day of the week. No, I can chew on my own, thanks. I'm human after all. <laughs> I am human after all. And in what world does this make more sense? In the world of awesomeness. Hmm, as you wish. Here's an unchewed dish for you then. Please do enjoy. Isn't Lee still reeling from what I what I was almost fed a moment ago? I took a bite from Ms. Kuan's homemade curry. I forgot that they were eating curry. So she chewed his curry 100 times for him? It's fucking curry. Most of it is melted anyways. <laughs> I will say, I will say, it's good. It's finger licking good. After dinner, Naomi returned with Miss Kawan to her facility, to her oh, facility, to her faculty house giving me a chance to finally feel like I was actually home, but quaint <coughs> shit. But quaint, but quite too, oh, fuck, I don't even know that word, man. But, uh, whatever. But was still very much out of, out of the question. Quietude? Quietude. Hmm, I guess, you know, you, know, you could have used just silence or something, I don't know. 
Yuka, oh dear. Did you have another accident in the bathroom? What? I'm sorry. I'll clean it up. What? Accident in the bathroom? Oh! Oh! <laughs> it took me a moment. I'm like, she's not... I'm like, she's not so young that she's, like, pissing herself. They're talking about... They're talking about the maturity part. The... The... You know... That time of the month. Is everything okay, Yuka? She just wet herself again. Only a little bit, though, this time. Wait, what? I'm confused now. She's way beyond the age of wetting herself. What? How old is Yuka? I thought she was like nine years old. You're still wetting yourself at nine years old? Come on, Yuka. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't cry, Yuka. Not your fault. Even the doctors at the hospital were stumped. After all, I just hope the medicine they prescribed had some effect. Oh, okay. So it's a medical condition. Got it. Maybe, maybe, oh god. Could this be a side effect from the, um, from, a uh, Heavenly Host? Every one of us who made it back from Heavenly Host experienced some sort of physical change. Guess it's all just a side effect of going through that hell. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, that would make sense, you know? Especially in Yuka's uh, case scenario, because she, she had to hold it in very, very long. So she probably caused some permanent damage to her bladder. So... Yeah. I was wondering what happened with Yuka, because I'm like, I'm like, nothing really, you know, nothing really stands out. She's kind of handling well, but I guess that's just, luckily, I guess that's the only thing that's kind of, you know, bothering her. Hopefully she doesn't, hopefully she's not having like nightmares or anything, because she, because she went through some shit. Especially for her age. That night, I gazed at the moon from my window. And while checking it, and they, <clears throat> while checking in with Naomi over the phone, is everything okay over there, Naomi? I guess Miss Guan's house is really big, and she's really sweet, but yeah, Miss Yui, I miss her too. I miss her fucking too, dog. Which is really weird, cause most of the characters don't talk about her. This is the first time her name has came up, really. Uh huh. Naomi's voice sounded distant for a moment, and a little nasally. It was obvious she was con she was getting choked up, and she wasn't the only one. I missed all of our departed friends, but at the same time, I also felt kind of guilty about it now that we spent so much time with Miss Kua. Other people have taken the place of Miss Yui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, and Morishigi. And in this world, those people are as real as can be, living their own lives. The more time we spend here, the harder it is to, to rationalize that the world we knew before is the correct timeline. What gives us the right to decide which world, which set of lives, is more proper? So, Satoshi? What about Kishinuma and the class rep? Wish I knew. I looked all over, but Yoshiki is nowhere to be found, and I tried calling Shinazaki too, but no luck. The call wouldn't even go through. Man. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll head over to Yoshiki's place. Okay, and I'll stop by the class rep's house before school. Sounds good, thanks. Anyways, it's getting late. You should get some sleep. Yeah, you're right. Good night. After hanging it up, I continued to stare at the moon. It's like I was tran transfixed. Oh, fuck. For a split second, I could have sworn I, it just turned jet black. Just as it might appear during a lunar eclipse. That must be the sign that the walls to the real world are breaking down. 
rubbed my eyes and took another look. But it's fine now. Shadow cast over that I thought I've seen was no <coughs> the cattle uh, the cattle the shadow cast over that I thought was seen was nowhere to be found. Fuck, I couldn't even speak. You ready to go? We shouldn't stay here much longer. Cool. I'm gonna take my ass back upstairs. Cause chances that that dude is upstairs is very low. He's probably still wandering around the school, but definitely not upstairs. Alright. Okay. Cool. And with that, we will return to title. There we go. Would you like to save system data? Absolutely. So there we go, right? There it is. Of course, Barty. What drive? We're gonna end the stream off here. Been streaming for a bit. Let me check the time. We're stopping like, you know, we're stopping earlier than what we usually do. But, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. <laughs> I just wish that the first two streams that I did with this was, was better. <laughs> Because, um, God, OBS just, like, restarted itself, and for some reason, the game audio didn't go through on either of those parts, so w whenever I upload them, I'm gonna have to just edit some music in the background, just, like, you know, throw some of the soundtrack in the background so it's not completely quiet, but, but, you know, besides that, I'm not really having that much problem with the game. I'm getting I'm getting more used to the controls, but I'd rather, you know, if I have controller support options, I'd rather use that. Um, so next time I'm gonna be streaming, right? Uh, well, next time I'll stream Corpse Party is going to be it's on the schedule, and then I'm going to change the schedule up now so that um so that when I stream the other days, if I stream the other days, um that Right now, we're going to be streaming uh, Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines because we played that last year, but I didn't get to finish it. I just unplugged my mic, didn't I? Not my microphone, my headphones. Um, I played the game last year, but we didn't really get... Well, I can't even say if we got that far or not because, you know, I didn't I didn't beat the game. But we got uh, we got kind of far in that game. Right? I guess kind of far? I don't fucking know, man. We we made it to a... Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what the fuck we did in that game. Like last year. But basically, basically we didn't really... We didn't really do too much. Nothing too crazy happened in the game yet. And I could have either continued that playthrough or kind of just restart it. Um, going into it kind of new kind of new because we're still using the same the same the same clan uh, clan that we land on which is Ventrue you know and within like last year and this year I did play the game a little bit but I did not go uh I made it a little bit farther than where we stopped but I didn't I didn't play it too much you know so now I know now I know a little bit more about how the game works right because I probably fucked up my stats on that first playthrough <laughs> Which, I'll probably still upload those videos, right? And that was way before I had the setup that I have now, where I have two screens and it's easier for me to stream PC games. So, you know, that way, uh, Masquerade Bloodlines can be more enjoyable than what it was. Uh, so, if I stream during the daytime, if I stream, they're not set in stone. I'm gonna put that on the, on the good old Twitch page. On Twitch, uh... Twitch schedule, and I'll just, I'll also upload it to, um, to YouTube and Twitter, uh, so that you guys have that, so that's what the streams are looking like now. As for, as for the YouTube channel, for the past couple of days, well, during this recording, for the ca uh, past couple of days, I have not uploaded, <laughs> have not uploaded in the past, like, three or something days, and that's because the Danganronpa V3 streams, one of those streams got corrupted, and I'm, I'm working on a tiny little video just to catch us up to speed on what was missed on that. Nothing too crazy, you know, but 
I just didn't want to upload the next part of Danganronpa V3 without, you know, explaining that. So that's going to get uploaded to YouTube. As for other playthroughs on YouTube going along that, there is one that I have recorded and done. I'm just waiting to uh, get some emails back on some artwork for it. And yeah, that's the plan for YouTube right now. You know, that and just upload whatever live streams I'm archiving. Uh, yeah, so there's that, right? So, if you came and watched this live on Twitch, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Please follow the channel if you like it. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, I'm not going to bust your balls if you don't. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, please, please, this one, this one I will bust your balls for. Please leave a like because just leaving a like helps out with the notoriety on YouTube and it helps people be able to find the content and you know it helps us grow the channel right I hate saying you know I hate saying like comment and subscribe but like comment and subscribe actually helps so yeah so you know um, the description below there's a link to my Twitter and my uh, my Twitter and my twitch so if you want to watch me live on Twitch, you click on that, check the schedule. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do that. Sometimes I reply to, you know, I reply to some tweets here and there. I make jokes. I mostly make jokes on Twitter. That's what I do. I make jokes. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I make some posts here and there. Nothing too crazy, right? Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything else I need to say right now. Um, so... Again, next streams, next next game I uh, you know next time I stream is gonna be Vampire Masquerade, Bloodlines, and that's gonna be during the daytime. And then next time we come back, the course party will be next next week. Next week, yep, next week. Um, next week Monday night, Tuesday morning, kind of like that, late at night, midnight, and stuff like that. That's on the schedule. And yeah, as always. Uh, as always, sorry, I spaced out for a moment. As always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off.